What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and welcome to another video. I am a number one on the ladder. I have a pretty good lead, so hopefully I get the number one weekly winner for this week. I uh, think you guys will probably know that when this video uh, is uploaded. It should be uh, uploaded on Sunday, and Sunday is when the weekly winners are decided. And today we're going to play some Judgment, because I don't like playing ranks when I'm number one on the ladder. Not much of a point. So here we go. I hope I can keep getting five wins in Judgment. Hmm, pretty bad starting thing, considering, like, the strongest creature is just a sister of the bear, and I don't have any synergy. So, this row I'll just probably just pick, I mean, all of these are, all four of these are bad scrolls, but I guess Pillar of Disease has the highest chance of being useful. Doesn't really be pretty good if I play a energy order deck. But I'll take the Pillar of uh, Disease because this might be able to be kind of good. Um, and then we have some growth. So I mean, Sister of the Bear, Brother of the Wolf might be the way to go. Here I will go with the... Um, Copper Automaton because that is kind of hard to deal with... Uh, for the opponent in Judgment PZ, they don't always have the removal, so it could oftentimes get value out of that thing. So I'll grab the Copper Automaton. There's a Forge. Okay, maybe it'll be in, I don't know. Because there's a Brother of the Wolf here, I'm thinking I'm going to take the uh, Sister of the Bear, maybe I'll be in Growth, so I'll grab that. Or then Mirth is interesting, and it's a Rain Group. There's a Forge here, so I'm not sure what we ran. I'll definitely take the Brother of the Wolf here. Um, Binding Root is good, Removal. Um, here I'll just, I'll take the forge, best scroll on this row I think. Um, and it's not like I have much of a choice, like, it's not like there's a great growth creature that I have to stay away from. And we have Vaunt Dispersal, so we've definitely good energy and growth stuff. Now here do I want to take Earth and Mirtha to Brew. I think we have to just keep taking the creatures. Um, you take creatures first, then the complementary scrolls afterwards. So I'll grab the Terrain Brute. And then there's another strongish growth creature. Gusty Zillow is decent. Not that good. I mean, a 5 2 5 for 6. It's not great. And flying is meh. So I'll take the. Dratic Power. It's more of an offensive scroll. Binding Root is like. Like uh, I mean, not really offensive. It's just more of a scroll that you put in your own unit. This is something you put in an opponent's unit. But this could be. I really like Binding Root's removal aspect to it but if i really want to do that i could always just use bot dry power instead of the binary root. so because dry power has more uses i'll take that yeah okay so i'll take dry power and there's a gun on him so i could go for energy more but it definitely looks like we have more growth stuff so i'll grab that and just in case we start seeing a lot of energy stuff i'll take the volunteer source so that's good to have um i'll take the there's a sea tracker i'll take the gusty zula over the frost scale and we have Tick Bomb, Harvester. It's not look like I'm in Decay. I think I'm going to take the Tick Bomb. It stays on Energy, which is, I'm kind of in it. And it's pretty strong in Judgment. Wildling, Effigy of the Queen, the Little Dark King. Oh, so it looks like Wildling down there. Even though it doesn't really work with Oak Bud anymore. It still works with other Magic Armor things. But it is a oh, one pure damage. Never mind. I meant, uh, yeah, they changed that. So now, no, Magic Armor does not reduce the damage. I'll take the Sea Tracker. Now, we have a lot of energy stuff now. I'll take the creatures. I won't take the, like, Drip Barrel Gunner. Right, so I'll take the Scatter Gunner. Now, the Wildling. Do I take the Countdown Reduction? Um, oh, down here is a Nognus and a Rat King. I'll take the Scatter Gunner. Oh, these are huge. Why are these so big? I think it was like, when they did the Black Market, the, the Judgment thing. I don't know if it was a bug or. What, but you can't even read most of the scrolls, so I think that is a bug. Or a, an unintended effect. So, I do already have a lot of 3-drop things. Iron Up is good, but I think we, like I said, you gotta take the creature. So I'll grab the sc scatter gunner. Um, this gives me, actually, energy, so that could be pretty good. So I'll take that. Maybe that's machine chance, cool. Crimson and a mortar. Hmm. Let's take the Rat King. That could be good, especially with the Wildling. And now I can go Skull Shrine Machine. This gives me growth, and we wanted growth. 
Uh, I think we might be a growth energy deck. I'm not sure. We have a Grave Lock Guard, a Mortar here. Machine Chant. I only have, I have a couple structures, so it might be worthwhile, but I think Spark just more reliable. But Tribal Memorial really will help this deck work. So... I'll go with the Tribal Memorial. Let's see how that works. It may be a little ambitious. Hellspitter Mortar, Gravelock Guard, Replicaton. All right, now it's more pointing us in the energy direction, which is fine. And um, Graphic Elder is awesome. Look, I Gravelock Guard. I have uh, yeah, I have Gravelock Guard. I'm gonna take an Elder and then another Gravelock Guard and Lockling Brood. So that's perfect. Now I'm getting some strong energy creatures. Uh, another Lockling Brood. I'll take over the Nog because that Elder makes it stronger. And then I'll take a Useless Contraption or kind of right. We have an Ironclad Reaver here, which is awesome. And then down here I have growth stuff like a god hand but i don't think i don't like how it's so big here i can't really see that many scrolls i have 15 energy scrolls i'm not sure if i'll be using growth um i already have a lot of creatures so i don't think i need to take the brave i'll just take the useless contraption let's see if i can make you useful uh the ironclad reaver definitely birth of the wolf i might play so i'll just take it Feedback Jolt, why not? Um, I guess Ragged Wolf. Uh, this gives me more growth. Do I really need multiple copies of them? Whatever. Oh, there's a Bombard. I do have a lot of ranged creatures, so Bombard would be pretty darn awesome. Here, I'll take the. Actually, I want uh, I want like complementary scrolls from growth, and I'll have my main creatures and energy. So I'll just take the Bear Paw here, then a Bombard. Maybe potentially a heal, so I'll just grab that. Pro I could still go into other factions because I'm, I think the main thing is energy, and then I'll have another faction. Here I'll take the Outcast Rebel, Desperation, or Colorado. Because I don't have like a Stormrunner or Cannonetta, something that really uh, is helped by an increase in ta attack, I don't think Desperation is the way to go. It's, it's a good pseudo removal, but I'd rather just have the Copper Automaton just to spam down. And, oh, Gravelock Freak, that's awesome. Perfect. Uh, I'll grab the, I don't know, Sister of the Fox. Binding Root, Gravelock Garter Seed. I'll take the Gravelock Garter Seed of that Elder. Um, Gravelock Freak, definitely. Uh, Fodder Pit is not too bad at, because I have so many Gravelock Guards and they all pillage. So they'll all be a little stronger. Here I'll take, I don't know, the Bear Paw, Blast Striker, Fodder Pit. I'll take the Fodder Pit. It's another useless contraption, and an Oculus Cannon is good. It's very good, well, especially with the Bombard. So really, a range and grave lock deck going on here. Uh, cannon also range guy. Concentrate fire can be fun to play with. We're gonna have thirty energy. Oh, we're not gonna have thirty energy scrolls. That's annoying. <laughs> I guess I'll just have a couple growth scrolls. Okay. Let's see how many creatures do we have. I mean, yeah, I need. All right, let's see what I want. I definitely want these. Do I really want fire pet? I have three scrolls with pillage, right? I don't know. It might not be worth it. Uh, Read back drill, I think, is just good to have. Good kind of removal because I don't have much removal in this deck. I should have taken that spark. Yeah, I definitely should have taken that spark when I had it. Yes, this is like grave locks and ranged. And just the ironclad reaver. Uh, 15 creatures is a good amount. And I will put in the tick bomb. And now, I guess I have to go with growth here. Let's put in Dratic Power, Ragged Wolf, Sister of the Fox, and then one more. Um, or do I just put in one Tribal Mars? Maybe I can get there by myself. I'll just do that. Okay. That, that will be my deck. I think it's pretty darn good. Let's call it Energy Growth. And let's head right into a match here. Judgment, play a match. Find a match right away. Always nice to see. Let's see it's, who it's against. But accept your match. Ah, looks like the queue is gonna be restarted. Oh well. Yep. 
me just re let me just exit and re-enter the queue sometimes. I don't know if that does anything, but I just like to give it a little kick. So I'll be back when a match is found. It took a little bit of a while, so maybe I might not face somebody that's also Ooh, Ancy Red. Good luck, have fun to Ancy Red. Um very strong opponent to face in judgment. Uh this is a fine starting hand because I know there's no one drops. So actually, they don't have copper automatons. So let's say if he plays something right now, I'll probably go with a mulligan. So I will go with a mulligan, I think, to try to get a copper auto. Unless I top deck one. No. Um, I mean, I there's a very high chance I get the, the two drop of guard luck art anyways. So I'll just draw a new starting hand. And I do, but I don't have that grave lock art anymore. But oh well. I'll get rid of the early sister of the fox. And this copper automaton will do something. It will cost anti a scroll for me putting down this scroll, and chances are it costs him a higher than one costed scroll because I'll either destroy something or he'll get rid of it with like a, like a, some kind of like a double blessing based on the craftsman, but I don't think he would do that. So I'm not sure if he'll use this craftsman to, to be destroyed or I'll destroy something to protect the craftsman. We'll see. Squire. Alright, so he just lets the craftsman die. And unfortunately. Fortunately, I do not draw a uh, two drop. So, oh well. I'll keep that bombard and I'll get rid of the siege cracker, I think. I don't think this is going to be like a rush game. Feedback jolt. There's not many enchantments in order, so I'll get rid of the feedback jolt. I guess I'd rather have the creatures. Okay, so I guess we made a 1 1 trade because we both got rid of a 1 costed creature. But he went first, so. He was able to get that squire out for a turn two play. Hopefully, it doesn't have a turn play three as well, turn three play as well. Squire on its own is not too threatening. The two two three decent, but shouldn't be too much problem. And he does have a boarding zone at turn three, so it's a little bit annoying being at four health. But it shouldn't be too hard for me to get around that. I'll go ahead and play the replicaton. Just because I'd rather get the ranged unit out, even though the, I don't have an extra two energy to make sure if it dies I get it back. I'd rather just get the ranged unit out first because that's the you know I'd like to like to attack first. Okay, so this thing is considered a knight, so we have to be aware of that. Now, this is interesting. This is really interesting. I think. I see a bombard with the Oculus Cannon would be just beautiful, right? Um, let's see. I'm going to believe it or not, sacrifice the the Siege Cracker for scrolls. Yes, sacrifice the Siege Cracker for scrolls, and I get a Forge. I do think that's good. I'm gonna move up and run away. Now, if he wants to chase me up here, he can. Um, we'll see what happens. So, Anti had a very powerful start. He had a he had a units play on turn one, two, three, and four. And this guy, on turn four specifically, is the one I'm scared of the most. And without much removal, I do have a violent dispersal actually. So, I shouldn't say that. I do have a decent amount of removal. And there is a ducal instrument. So he's down. So he is like have, has low amount of scrolls right now. But I don't have many resources myself. I will go ahead and a part of me wants to save the Oculus Cannon for when I can play it with a uh, with a bombard. No, I'm just gonna play the play the Oculus Cannon. Let's go ahead and sacrifice the guard and play the oculus cannon back here all right we have to watch out about like him taking on metal idol but then he may be able to win the game kind of fast hopefully i draw like a bounce dispersal for the skirmisher and also hopefully it doesn't have another big threat similar to the skirmisher pother on the forge so we can take that down that's unfortunate for me um i do have bombard so unfortunately neither of these creatures are are uh, 
you know, neither of them have ranged. And I will go ahead and see what to do now. Lockling Brood is okay, but this order is so many things. Pava does not kill Lockling Brood for some weird reason. So, there's that. But, what do I want to do? I can't really. It's hard to come back into this game. He sees all the stuff. All the stuff is attacking. I think I have to play the Lockling Brood this turn. I have to, like. I need a way to somehow break in here. I'm going to keep the Reaver. Sack for Sir Scrolls. Okay, so that's pretty good. I can go with the Elder next turn. Okay, I'm going to put you there. And I'm going to hope there's no, like, Blessing of Haste or Focus to kill this Lockling Brood. Let's see. And maybe I can safely get an Elder down next turn, like, near the bottom of the board and sacrifice my units near the top. Maybe I should have moved this uh, Rohux on down. But then that would be pretty easy for the skirmisher to destroy them if anti rad has any kind of hasted uh, scrolls to try to get this skirmisher to attack. As it stands right now, he would have to have this Oculus Kens go off to destroy this Rokhsan. All right, so he does he does destroy it, and he looks like he's gonna run away with all his creatures. Or all right, he's so he's going to not really sacrifice this infantryman. Like it's still here and around. Ask yeah, so him what's the record deck. It looks pretty good. Um, concentrate fire. Concentrate fire is interesting. I will go ahead. I, I do want to take that out. Um, let's get rid of the Ragged Wolf. And play the Elder. Unfortunately, I am... I'm losing myself this Rockbox on if he decides to move up. But... If I go with the Concentrate Fire Bombard, I might be able to destroy some stuff but I'd rather have more units on the board okay I actually don't want him to move up with this skirmisher oh no he is isn't he because he could just move behind this FG the Queen and be relatively safe yep he does darn it now I'm kind of scared of all the stuff going on I don't really have the like speed to just stay with him you know concentrate Fire. Things I want to get the freak out because of that massive seven health, but I just it's hard because I don't know. What I probably do is actually sacrifice the for freak for scrolls. No, I gotta play the freak. Let's get rid of the concentrate fire for resources and play the freak in front. All right, let's see. Now a bombard with a scatter gunner this coming turn wouldn't do much. It would not do much. It would actually cause this crossman to attack. A turn early, which would be bad for me. I need a Vaunt Dispersal, that's what I need. I have enough resources to play it, so I could always just sacrifice for scrolls and try to search for it. I need to get rid of that Skirmisher. I've seen he has a focus in his deck, because that's what he used to kill my Lockling Brood. Hmm. Yeah, the uh, two Magic Armor, um, that the effigy of the queen gives is oh that's that's bad <laughs> i can't afford to be pushed back in uh my units push back right now i don't have the i just, I just can't afford it let's see what i want to do 
Revoc Guard. Um, let's get. Let's sacrifice the scatter gunner. This way, babies, I have to like, hold on to the bombard. I need more resources to make a big play. Play the elder and the guard. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the this guy. He, I think they made him smaller in the last patch. He definitely wasn't that small. This time. Maybe he, they maybe they resize. I think I think uh, someone at Carnalizer Mon said that they did resize units. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm a little hesitant that I did that play, but I'd rather have the health on the board instead of the units that can attack with bombard next turn. Hopefully, I can top deck stuff. Like I mean, this guy still attacks with bombard next turn. It was only three attack, and he goes for growth. Maybe it's like a binding root or something. I wouldn't be surprised. All right, so he does not. So he takes out that idol, which is bad, but I think I'm okay. Get rid of the useless contraption. Although it'd be kind of good right now. Um, I do think I'd have to get the creatures out. And here we go. Here we go. I have to take out his creatures. I'll move down. This can come in for six damage, so I'm gonna move the this guy down too. Hopefully this guy doesn't die. As it stands right now, he won't die. If he has like certain scrolls, he can actually win the game. I'll play a Gravelock guard here. And a scatter gunner in between because I could bombard next turn. And maybe do some things. This turn I actually could have bombarded and had a. Uh, but it wouldn't really be that worth it. I would destroy Justice Skirmisher and deal a little extra damage to this FSG of the Queen. So we'll see. So I do have to watch out because this crossman is going to attack if I bombard. Hopefully I can top deck like another Scatter Gunner or something. Not sure what else was in this deck. There's Cannonado, but I need something at like four cost or less. Let's see. He might have like another Pother. So he can get to this. Moves up. Interesting. Ragged Wolf. So that takes that out. And then Horn of Ages. Ruse. That's an interesting play. I'm not saying it's bad, it's it's cool. That Horn of Ages, I think, definitely hurts me. It wasn't, it's not really a devastating Horn of Ages, though. Let's see. So his units have spiky. Fine. Whatever. Oh man, Bombard and Violent Dispersal I have in hand. I need the Violent Dispersal to get rid of, like, this. Oh boy. You know, I have to keep the Bombard. I just have to keep the Bombard. I'll get rid of the VD. And... I will put down... A double focus, like, loses me the game. Whatever. I'll put down the Lachlan Brood to try to protect... This Scatter Gunner. But he could very easily just have something to destroy that. And then I'll put down a... Copper Auto down here. Try to get a kill with that thing. Alright. Here we are. Maybe I should have on support the last turn, but... Whatever, we'll see. I'm not even sure if this Gravelock Freak would attack if, like, 
Anti Rad plays like a focus on this Lockling Brute to kill it. Nope, it doesn't attack, that's annoying. So, that means that's taken out. And. There goes the Scatter Gunner. At least both the skirmishers are attacking this turn, so they won't be attacking for another couple turns. So I haven't seen any haste by anti red. Any bl by that I mean blessing of haste and rose beam potion and speed stuff like that. Not like ragged wolf. Oh, he did. we did see ragged wolf, so he does have ragged wolves. Okay, so at least his whole turn is just a focus. That's okay. Uh, I have to keep that bombard. I think I think I have to keep that bombard. So I'll sacrifice a cannon. That was a bad draw. Now I wish I sacrificed the bombard. Actually, no, it's not a bad draw. I could tick bomb this. And should both actually no, I thought it was a bad draw, but it's really not a bad draw. I can get rid of that. And then get rid of both of these things. And then move up with the And I'll protect the lower health idol with this. I'm, it is going to die. But what am I gonna do? I'm not gonna play the fodder, but Okay. Now let's hope he doesn't have like a double, a blessing of haste and a focus, or a double focus. He just played a focus. His ruse is gonna go away soon. Okay, I need to, I need to just draw some creatures to put down and some range creatures, like another scatter gunner. This guy's attacking this turn anyways. Let's see what's gonna happen. Only four scrolls for Anthea, beyond defender. It's pretty good. Okay. I think I'll get rid of the fodder pit. I'd rather just have at least something to play, like a unit. Uh, not that I didn't. I I wanted I wanted creatures, but I guess this will have to do. And I have to protect the idols. Do I even bother taking this FG of the queen out? I don't think so. I think I have to move down. Yeah, so I'm gonna put down a Hellspitter Mortar. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this. This guy might die, but at least then this Gravelock would attack. Or no, that doesn't work like that. Let's play a. Should I play the Tribal Memorial and destroy it? Sure, why not? So now at least I can I can go with like a dry power next turn and see what happens. Okay, let's hope there's not another focus and, and stuff like that. Well, it's not a huge deal if this thing goes down. It's done pretty pretty well for me so far. I need like I need more grave locks this coming turn. My deck recycles. I didn't actually I didn't play the bombard that deck cycle. Wow. Wow. Oh, it's interesting to note, if I bombard, this Hellspitter Mortar would attack. Okay, so moves up. And... Let's see. Right, so that takes it out. So that's annoying. This guy, this Ducal Infantryman, that is quite a nuisance. And... He's going to have a lot of attack coming in next turn. Horn of Ages, eh, I don't think it's really worth a Horn of Ages right there. Dryadic Power, Useless Contraption. I'm going to keep the Dryadic Power because... Useless Contraption, I kind of need. I mean, this is one growth. So it's easier to play that. I don't know. Let's see if I can get... Let's get rid of the dry pass if I can get like a scatter gunner. Ragged wolf. Nope. Well, I have to protect this, so I'll play a useless contraption. And then a I'm actually gonna play a Gravelock Guard up here. Yeah. I'm gonna play a Gravelock Guard up there. 
because him hitting like a top idol, I can move down a little bit, can start helping me get places, you know? And let's draw a scatter gunner next turn or something. I'm pretty darn close to losing. Okay, so that means he can go ahead and take out my elder, which is pretty important. And and I really needed like a scatter guard on us, and that'd be just perfect. Bear paw. Okay, now I'm gonna need the bounce dispersal to destroy that. But at least it's not attacking next turn. Uh, let's. I might. I might want to save this for the warding zone, so I'll get rid of the ragged wolf. Um, I'll move up. Play. A guard and a replicaton. Come on, hit something. Yes, I. Well, whatever. I mean, it's not a big deal. If it hit on the creatures would be better, but. Hey, it hit something. Hmm. Okay, let's top deck the Vaunt Dispersal. Pretty please. Whew. Oh boy. I just haven't had a chance to play the Bombard. <laughs> Storm Knight. Alright, fine. Feedback Jolt. He is Bear Paw. That could come in handy. Uh, let's get rid of the Tick Bomb. See what we can do. There's Scatter Gunner. Bombard. This guy's five. This guy's five health. <sighs> Welp. If I scatter gunner bombard. There is a chance. Well actually, scatter gunner bombard does that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, no. If I scatter bomb, butter bombard, if this guy, this pillage guy hits that, I can take him out. So I'm just going to go with that chance, and I'm just going to pray. I will pray that I can do that. All right. Here I go. Scatter gunner. Bombard. Copper automaton. And move you back. Please, maybe. Okay, come on, hit him. Yes. Oh, wrong guy. Okay. Uh, so he, this guy, this hit a guy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, the pillage did not hit that royal skirmisher. But this thing goes down to a feedback jolt next turn. But he can take things out that relentless. I probably should have put the copper auto like in this row so it could actually threatening threaten stuff. And there goes the bombard. I won't be getting it back until a lot longer. At least I can take out this skirmisher. I haven't seen any kind of countdown reduction. So I don't know if I'm actually going to play the feedback drill this coming turn. Hopefully he just like helps me out and just enchants somebody else. Okay, he has the card advantage now, but I do have a lot of resources. Not much more than him. 
is that wild? Okay, so... Four, three, two, one. Ah, uh, he ran out of time. <laughs> he ran out of time, but he wouldn't have been able to win by moving the, this Storm Knight back. So, uh, yeah, it wouldn't have been able to win. A feedback Jolt is not really. I can kill it anyways right now. So... Uh, that was a really bad turn for him. Yeah, he is going to lose from that. Wow, I can't believe I won that match. I, it came down to a uh, mistake by him, but I definitely think I had a chance to come back anyways. Okay. So that'll be it. So thank you all for watching. Like the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe for more content like this. And I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.